It is gold. Oh my, oh my god. god, I'm shaking. Oh. Oh my god, I'm shaking. My. I don't know. Could be. Oh my word. What's been going on in camp that I was unaware of? You are fast asleep. <laughs> if you're not subscribed to this and you're watching this. What? Good morning, Mud Monsters, and welcome along for another day's digging. Look who's with me. I'm here today. First time in ages that we're both out together. Yep. Life has proper just took a U-turn over the last couple of weeks. <laughs> um, it's meant I've gone solo, you've gone solo. Anyway, we're back together as a team, team discriminators. Mm -hmm. We're here with our local group. We wanted to be here for the whole weekend for the camping, um, but we've arrived late on the Saturday. Um, and we'll try and get back here tomorrow as well. This is Roman land, albeit we haven't seen any Romans come up yet. Um, but doesn't mean they're not here. Yeah. So we're on the hunt for the Roman. Um, I've already filmed something disgusting. You'll see it in a little bit. Um, I'm not going to say much more about it. It's one of the weirdest things I've ever seen. It is. <laughs> come up from metal detecting. So stay tuned for that. It's obviously a, a rally as well over two days, so there will be a big gallery of what's found, but that'll probably be or maybe a part two video or something. Got anything you'd like to say, Bern? I just, I have, you say Roman, I have no idea what's going to come up off this land. Some people did have a look at the maps and said that they couldn't really fathom the history of this land. However, we have been told there's Roman, so we'll see what comes up really. See what we've got to show for ourselves. I, I mean, we have been here once before in the past, Let's and I got a me. hammy. Yeah, we shouldn't have been here. <laughs> we didn't really talk about that. It was accidental field identification moment. It was. <laughs> right, um, I just want to say a couple of shout outs. This is to um, Ash Unearthed, um, Ash and Luke, and um, to Kimmy and Scott over at Dirt Diggers UK, both hitting their 1,000 sub milestones. Oh, yeah. Well done, guys. We'll see you real soon. Uh, right, we'll see you guys on the uh, the first um... decent hole. <laughs> Sorry, Grim. <laughs> That'll do. Right, so I've just arrived at the uh, the mini weekender. We're a little bit late, work again, but um, it's a glorious, glorious day. And the first thing that I've been shown is uh, what looks like gold teeth. Someone's lost their whole set of gold dentures on here. So um, <laughs> I'll flick around. It's the most I don't even know why I'm holding them, it's quite gross, but I'll flick around and show you what we've got here. Here we go. A set of gold dentures. This is where the enamel would have been on this side, apparently. Obviously your tutties will fit into there. And there you go. <laughs> what a set of gnashes. Isn't that incredible? I mean, you're going to know if you've lost them, aren't you? You ain't gonna leave the field until you find them, surely. That's quite a lot of gold as well. So why what happened here? I mean did some guy get in a fight and get his get his dentures knocked out? Did he pass away in the field? Will we find any more of this guy's body? That is just macabre. That's certainly the weirdest thing I've ever seen on a metal detecting rally. Right, this is my first find for today. This was the iffiest signal ever, but it was a 95. Okay, I, I don't know what it is. I mean, it's an old something, scrubbed something, toasted something. But there we go, guys. First find on the field. Very first signal into a coin. It's really bright guys, so apologies if I can't show you, but it is a modern 10p. If you can see that. Oh, I'll just throw it on the floor. Yeah, round in the ground on the first hole, and I think Bernie had the same, bless her. And she's headed off that way. Well, I'm, I'm not skunked just on that basis alone. All right, let's find something a bit older. Right, is this a button? Or is it a coin? Can we see that? Hmm. Damn it! The button. Well, 
There was always hope that it would be a Roman coin, you know. <laughs> or a silver coin, but no. Silver button. Damn it. Well, I was headed diagonally across the field here. Apparently the sort of Roman side's more over here. But um, this is interesting. Can you see this? I'm thinking like as a watch winder, but then there's this extra bit off it, but it's definitely fancy as well. Ooh. Maybe not, not a watch. No, it is definitely going to be a watch winder, surely. How fascinating is this? Right. Let's give it a quick clean up and see if we can fathom what we've got here. Ta da! Look at that! How interesting! It's got to be a watch winder, right? Now, you've got crossed cellos and then some fancy on that bit there. And I think that's the same on the other side, sort of. You've got this theme of instruments going on. And it does actually spin, look. There you go. Moves around. But I'm um, perhaps I'm being thick here. How do you how do you wind a watch? Does that bit go in? I mean Or was there a little knobbing bit on the uh, on that end and then you would oh, I don't know, perhaps I need to find out really. I have to find a few of these, so that's lovely. That's my find of the day so far. I know it's not really really old, but that's obviously really unique quite personal as well. Lovely old job! I've just been shown this lovely bronze ring. Look at the detail on that. Wow! So here we go. That's made out of bronze and we reckon potentially Roman because a lot of Roman is coming up on this field down in this area here. So yeah, there's hope. There's hope. Woo, it's warm. And yes, I know I'm wearing a black top and I shouldn't be wearing a black top because it's really hot. But couldn't find my red ones this morning. I don't want to wear my red one tomorrow anyway, if I can find it. Right, so just had about 40 minutes. That watch winder was absolutely lovely. Looks like it might have George III on it. So that sort of dates it a couple hundred years ago. And um, it's basically complete. Lovely old job. Making our way over to the, uh, the Roman field. Now Bernie's already headed over there, all excited. There's been um, Denari come up and um, bronze ring, don't know about any fibulas, cause a few people over here. Right, let's crack on and see if we can find some Roman. Here we are with one of the, uh, the local group legends <laughs> on yet another live dig. <laughs> Not today. <laughs> <laughs> That's got all the makings of iron, this one. Has it? Yeah. Oh, I've been tricked a few times today. Still there. Well, it's there, sort of tinged on the iron. When I start getting down about six or seven inches. Yeah, I start I'm, to get I'm, a bit. My, my sort of heart thinks there's not going to be a lot there. <laughs> other than a plow part but well, can't be asked springs to mind as well i, I, yeah, well, I, I didn't say it on if you're on camera <laughs> well i i just dug down well below the depth of the pointer just chasing what uh, can only be round iron really because yeah. the, the nox does get tricked by this round well lots of them do don't they oh yeah the, the flat iron especially but to me this is like a lure to a pike you can't resist it no no well, this sums up the hobby right here, doesn't it? Exactly. You know, you, you, you're digging and digging just in case, because you dig those really deep ones just in case it's something like a, a Bronze Age axe head, didn't you? you think, yeah, oh, it's a big yeah. old deep signal. Well, the leg end is on his way. Yeah, yeah. So hang on, he's on the uh, he's on the dais again. Yeah, yeah, he has had the knocks out today. No, oh, okay. I think he's saving up for tomorrow. We'll let him off. <laughs> 
Well, that's a good idea, isn't it? Hit, hit the field in two two different days, two different machines, because yeah. that yeah. should... I don't know if that is the edge theory, or he just couldn't be bothered to get the knocks over. I'm not really sure. I'm sure he's got a, a master plan. Oh, he has. Oh, yes, he has, actually. The leg end creeps nearer. Are you giving up on this holding oh, ground? Yes. Yeah, I... See, if I went any deep, I think I'd have to put... Um... Can I run the knocks over it and just see what yeah, the sound's sure, like? Yeah, sure, yeah. Let's we'll get the old uh, headphones turned off. Right. Oh, dear. Anything at all? Oh, it's very, very, very silent. Yeah. Oh. Is that out? That sounds like it's out. I'd say, like, it's either out or it's, um... Just oh, it's, out, it's out there. That sounded yeah. good on your machine. Well, it's an 11. It's not a horrible signal. Yeah, sounds good on this one as well. Let's see if it was worth it. Was that the knock saving the day? Could well be. <laughs> Hi, Ed. Hi. As he pulled the denarii out on the last dregs. Well this is what we want isn't it? Something. Uh, it's one of those denarii buttons. Is it? <laughs> <laughs> so we, we, we <laughs> got a button out of it. Oh okay. <laughs> well there you go. Never mind, eh? We thought it was deep iron ended up being a button. So leg end. Yes. <laughs> leg end. You've had a cannon. I've heard of the cannon. I've got a small toy cannon and a crotal bell. And a crotal bell. So that's not too bad. Yeah. Ah, oh, there we go. Oh, I had a couple of lovely ones of these myself just the other day. Oh, I do love a crotal bell. No doubt that'll be ringing by the end of the day. So Bernie say it's a ringer. Oh, that'll be. <laughs> She'd know. That'd be a ringer. She's right down there. Oh, look at this. And there's a little... You can see it's worked because the firing pins... Oh, one. I'll give you the bell. Oh, sorry. No, no, you're fine. So you, this would have actually... Oh, fire. yeah, yeah, you've got a little chamber, haven't yeah, you? Yeah, they've put the black powder in. Yeah. And light it on... Touch this end there on yep. that little... Little hole, hole there. there. Yeah. That was the firing hole. And away they go, put some black powder in and... And they'd fire out little projectiles. Yeah. Q special effects. <laughs> oh, perhaps if we can shoot leg end with it. <laughs> That's fantastic. What a great little piece of history. Yeah. Someone's little toy. Somebody's little toy. Yeah. And a young head. Oh, yeah. A young head, Vicky. It's, it's not bad condition, really. No, I know. It's got that lovely, rich, different colours in the patina, yeah, patina, hasn't it? Yeah. Oh, it's lovely when they got that. 1860s. Something. I can't make it out. Yeah, same. It's 1860 something. But there we are. There we go. Some lots lovely of, bits there. Lots of... Right, guys. What have we got here? Let's have a look. 20, 21. 21. 19. It's in the good numbers anyway. Right, let's dig it. Right, whatever we've got, that's right. The Let's have a little gander. Have something decent today. Well, actually, I mean, I say that. I do really like that watch winder. But you know what it's like. You just want a coin, really, don't you? You still in the muck? You are. It's quite sticky. But it's reasonably easy to dig. Oh, come on. So, oh, hello. Hello. Hello, hello, hello. Oh. So the numbers were, weren't they? 2021. And that's looking shiny. And we know 2021's a silver signal. <laughs> Is it silver in the hole? It's looking like a sixpence. Yeah. So, 1921, oh, 50% silver. I'm not grumbling, I'm not grumbling. So it's a Georgie fifth. Here we go. Let's, I mean, he's nearly clean anyway, but let's give him a clean up. 
Good day to you, sir. Beautiful. Doesn't get old, does it? It really doesn't. Doesn't matter how many of these you find. A bit of silver pops out of the hole and it just makes your whole day. Oh, that's great. And it's in. Very good condition. Oh. He says, yeah, there you go. You can oh, oh, why do I keep doing this today? Honestly. There we go. Absolutely gorgeous condition. Everyone keeps sticking coins in um in these stalks, don't they? Should we have a go at this? Uh, let's get Georgie's head round. What do you reckon that one? I'm gonna find out this is really hard to do. Uh, no, that's broken. Uh, that one. Oh, 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 hello. <laughs> there we go. Georgie in the hole. Bet he never expected that his head would be part of a hobby using metal detectors and we'd stick them on stalks. Lovely old job. Right, let's go find some more. Hi Lee. <laughs> You're on camera whether you like it or not. Right, Lee's been very lucky and he has pulled out two silver Roman denarii. Now, look at this. I'll get it in the light. Well, let's start with this one on here. That's beautiful. And, obviously, and you say you thought it was a follis, didn't you? Probably because of the bronze colour. Bronze, bronze on the face. But yeah. And then there it is. And that's a partial on there. But then this one comes up. If I can get this one in the light, guys. It's ridiculous. Look at that. Absolutely amazing face. Do we know which emperor it is? Can't even read it. Not got a clue. So we'll try and find out. And look at the angel. Wings. What's that stuff she's holding? All kinds of nonsense. That's amazing. So there is Denari here. There you go, Lee. Cheers. Top day. Go and find some more, eh? Bernie's got a 14 here on the Nox. She's giving it a go. She's on a different. Sp she's on the black out of spade. That's why she nearly buckled over. <laughs> ah, this is using your stuff. It's really hard. What are you getting now on the numbers? Sorry. What numbers are you getting now? 14. It's still 14. It's solid 14. Solid 14. Mm, what's that normally? Well, I mean, I've had hammered at 13. But never can tell. This is going to be painful for the audience. We do love a, a live dig with you, Bernie, because it gives us time to get like the dishes done, you know, wash the car, maybe mow the lawn. Oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> well, hopefully you can speed it up when you're editing. Hey. Speed this up? Why would we need to speed this up? You're going good guns. Yeah. Target is acquired, isn't it? You're nearly there. Yeah. I never used the pinpointing function. I don't know. Did you on not? Okay. Any... No, I didn't. Um, because I'm so used to not using it on the dais. Yeah, the pinpointer on the uh, the Nox is... Spot on. Is very good, yeah. Yes. Right, darling, what is that noise? Is that... Oh, it sounds like a mosquito. Oh, sorry. Have you found it, darling? Yes, I have found what it. What have you it got? It is a fabulous shotgun shell. You've got a shotgun shell? I have. Is that your find of the week? It is my find of the week. I'd like to enter it. Would you? Yeah. I mean, on that note, darling, would you like to uh, introduce? The find of the week goes to... Oosh! Right, guys, we've got another nice banging signal right on top. You can see it just there, just in front of the coil. It's nice and green. I don't know. That's like a brooch to me. Oh my Jesus. Just sitting on the surface. Day 
one done. Day two tomorrow. <laughs> Day two tomorrow. <laughs> really, really, really warm, so we're a little bit tired. Um, yeah. But um, we're going to leave the campers to camp, and then we're going to head over tomorrow again. And um, we are told there's a lot more roaming going on in the next field that's going to be open, and there's going to be a token hunt. So um, roll on tomorrow morning. Yeah. My best find is going to be the. Um, it's going to be the silver sixpence. What's yours, Ben? <laughs> the flint. The flint. The flint scraper. Yeah. We're pretty sure. Have you filmed the flint scraper? No. No. Okay, well, you haven't seen it. I didn't think it was. Well, I did think it was something, but I didn't. Hmm. You know, I, I'm not clued up with these things. You are. No, I mean it fits well in the hand. It's been certainly worked along that edge and tidied up there. So Neolithic flint scraper. I, I, I'm pretty sure on that one. So that is a really, really nice find using eyes only. It was in a hole with a scrubbed coin. Same hole as a signal, so yeah. Okay. Always it's check lucky. your holes. Yeah. Right. Anyway, so yeah, I know it was a short video and there wasn't much to show you, but that's all part of it, isn't it? Right. We'll see yeah. you um, tomorrow on day two. On day two. Bye for now. Bye.